Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will be solving N chapter problem number 2.3 from the Signals and Systems book by Mr. Oppenheim. So, let's see the question. Consider an input N and a unit impulse HN given by uh, shown here. And from here, we have to plot the output YN which is convolution of Xn and Hn. Now, if you plot this, the signal will be like this. It is gradually decreasing as n increases. And this un-2 means it is shifted from 0 and it is starting from 2. And similarly, when Hn is un-2, that means when n plus 2 is equal to 0 means n is equal to minus 1 and that means it is starting from uh, sorry minus 2 here so it is starting from minus 2 so these are the two plots now this question is almost similar to uh, example 2.4 in the book except that in example 2.4 the both the signals they are starting from 0 whereas here one is starting from positive 2 and the other is starting from negative 2. So to better understand I would recommend that you uh, go through this example in the book or you can also watch my video uh, this video shown, shown here details to get a better idea. Anyway let's start solving this question. So this is the given question, this is Xn and this is Hn and we have to find the convolution. So as I have explained in my previous videos on this subject, that our first step is to change the variable from n to k to get Xk and Hk. So we change the variable n into k, n into k xn will now become xk and hn will now become hk and the values will also change now you see half n minus 2 will now become half k minus 2 and uk minus 2 instead of un minus 2 and similarly here so that is the first step and I have taken some help from uh, this website so I want to thank them. Okay, so we have changed the variable to k variable. And the next step is flip hk around 0 axis. So one of these two uh, we have to flip. But this is easier looking, so we flip this one. So when we flip, you see this, uh, just to distinguish, uh, uh, mark them in blue color so when we flip this around this zero axis so this one goes on the right hand side and the others uh, the greens on the left hand side so this is the second step we have flipped this and the name now changes to h minus k instead of hk and also the name it was u k plus 2 it will now be u minus k plus 2 and the third step is that move the function further left to a point to a point n to get h minus k plus n or this can also be written as h n minus k so what we have done is we have moved it to a, an unknown point and we call that point n so now 0 will be become n and so on the right hand side it will become n plus 1, n plus 2 and here it will become n minus 2, uh, n minus 1, n minus 2 and uh, so will the name now it will be called u n plus 2 minus k with this we have added n plus n like we have added n with the 0 so now if you look carefully we have moved the function to a point n. Now there is no interjection or there is no overlap between the two. 
and since there is no overlap between the two functions, uh, the convolution sum will be equal to 0. So we can say that for n plus 2, that is this n plus 2 less than 2, this is not touching, so it is, that means it is less than 2, no overlap or no convolution. And from here we can also say that uh, n is less than 0. When you take on this side, then n will be 2 minus 2, that is 0, so n less than 0 or this n less than this 0. So this is the condition of no overlap. And now if we keep dragging this towards the right hand side, there will be a point where n plus 2 signal will overlap the first signal of xn. So from here the overlap starts. And so we can say that n plus 2 greater than 2. So n plus 2 greater than or equal to 2. So all this area in the convolution should take place and again from here we can say that when n is greater than 0 this moves here. So we can also say that uh, this implies that n greater than uh, 0 the convolution takes place or the overlap takes place. And so we can say it is clear that the convolution is possible only if n plus 2 is greater than 2 or which implies that n is greater than 0. It is the same thing that we explained here. And therefore our convolution sum will now be half this thing half k2 u k2 multiplied by h that is u n plus 2 k this is the convolution sum and it is valid for n greater than 0. Okay, so we were here. This is the uh, convolution formula now. These two are uh, overlapping. They have started overlapping. So the overall picture will look something like this. This is now the uh, convolution area. And now let's define the area of the or the limit of a start and end. So this is not now starting from minus infinity, rather it is starting from this point, which very clearly we can say that this point is k is equal to 2. So that is the starting point. And where will this end? We don't know what is the value here, as like 2, 3, 4, 5, but this is going all the way. So we don't know whether this is 100 or 200 or 1000. But what we know is that this last point, the moment this point goes out of this area, then the overlap will stop. So the end point will be n plus 2. So, so we can write that the limit of summation will now be from k is equal to 2 to k is equal to n plus 2. So this is important to understand this limit. And so our summation formula will now change from k minus infinity, we will write k2 and the upper limit will now be n plus 2 from here. And now the uk is just 1, this is also 1, so this thing multiplied by 1 will be same. So this is the output and which we can plot like shown here. Now, we got to use the finite sum uh, summation formula uh, to uh, simplify this further. Now, the finite summation formula starts from k is equal to 0. In our case, it is starting from k is equal to 2. And so, we have to do some manipulation here. Now, if we subtract 2 from here, so k minus 2 means 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So subtracting 2 from here and also subtracting 2 from here uh, and we can write to make it more simple that this k minus 2 is equal to m. So m is equal to 0 is the starting point 
and when we subtract it 2 from here it will be n so the last point is m is equal to n so we have defined a new variable m which is k minus 2 is equal to n then the limit of summations are changed from m0 to mn okay so this is the uh, summation formula for n greater than 0 and now we will use this formula to find out the uh, actual value okay so we were here we had this formula finite summation formula and you see they are matching 0 0 limit n so r is half and k is m so we placing uh, put those values here so we can say that the summation will be now 1 minus 1 minus r is half so half n plus 1 and divided by 1 minus r where r is half and further simplifying this one denominator will become half and further simplifying when you this uh, invert 2 will come outside so this is the formula for the output and uh, instead of writing it to be greater uh, for valid for n greater than 0 we can just write u n with the answer so this means the same thing so this is the final answer and to plot uh, you can start putting by uh, uh, value of n 0 then 1 then 2 etc and you will get a plot something like this so let's see just the first one when n is 0 this is n is 0 then this is 0 half power 1 will be half 1 minus half will be half divided uh, multiplied by 2 will be 1 so this is our starting point and it will keep on increasing you can write couple of values of n and calculate so the graph will be something like this. So I hope this gives you an understanding how you can solve this type of a problem. Thank you.